The last injury that we want to talk about is low back pain in a volleyball player. So before we get into some of the exercises, we want to talk about the uh, exam process that we, we go through a little bit. Um, because of the repetitive nature of volleyball, similar to like something like gymnastics, uh, we have to be sure that there isn't more of a structural, da uh, more structural damage going on. Um, so one of the screens that we want to do is put somebody in a position called extension. So Zach is going to lay on his belly here. His hands are going to be underneath his shoulders and he is going to press his upper body up off the table, keeping his hips down. And what we're, what I'm going to ask Zach is, Zach, does that cause any discomfort down here in your low back? It does not. It does not on him. But if you were to come up and be like, yeah, that hurts a lot. We may have to do a little bit more diagnostic testing to make sure that there isn't something more significant going on down here because that leads to a completely different rehab uh, protocol. The first exercise for anybody dealing with low back pain is we, again, similar to the shoulder pain, we have to improve motion through this part of his back. If we don't move through here and we go and jump and swing, that means we're trying, our body's gonna get motion from somewhere else. And it usually comes from here and our low back really isn't designed for that kind of rotation. So we're gonna go into that modified quadruped position again. This way. And again, Zach is going to take his left hand now, put it on his neck, and he's going to bring his elbow up and away, trying to limit the motion through his low back here. And we're really improving through the upper back and into his thoracic spine. So this is a great exercise to kind of open up through your ribcage here, get a good stretch through your pecs, um, and get some good motion up through this mid part, mid part of your back. So if you're noticing that you're having some low back pain uh, in the middle of a volleyball match or practice, uh, I would probably throw this into your warm up um, to make sure that we're moving well through our mid back. Exercise one, thoracic rotations. Exercise two of low back pain in a volleyball player is gonna be something called the dead bug. And this is, we're trying to build some uh, control through our core as we try to isolate some uh, uh, arm movement and some leg movement. So Zach is going to go up into this position, which we call the dead bug. And what we're looking for here is making sure that his low back stays flat against the surface that he is laying on. So if you're laying on a yoga mat on the floor, we're trying to push your low back down. The opposite of that would be bringing it up. And you can see that we've got this big rib, rib flare here. So we're trying to keep our ribs down, engage the front muscles here of your core, and we want to breathe through this. We don't want to hold our breath for this entire time. So this would be the starting position. And now what we can do is we can lower a bent leg down and return back up. Lower a bent leg down and return back up. And again, we're trying to keep all of this nice and still. From there, we can do a straight leg. Lower a straight leg down and back up. Straight leg down and back up. Again, keeping this nice and solid. Zach is breathing throughout this whole process. The last thing I want to point out is we're not losing his head position. His head's not tipping up like so as we go back. He's keeping that chin nice and tucked and we're isolating movements. Now what we can do is get the arms involved. So we can go opposite arm, opposite leg, down and back, down and back, and making sure that we're not losing this position. Especially when you get your arms involved, your ribs are gonna wanna flare up like this and we gotta do our best to keep those things nice and down here, okay? Keep your ab muscles engaged, isolate just the limb movement. The last thing that we can do is we can try to build some strength in these slings that we have in our body. So you can take the opposite hand and drive it into your knee as we extend an arm and a leg. So drive your right hand into your left knee, extend, extend an arm and a leg, left hand into right knee, extend an arm and a leg. So that is going to be a dead bug progression, which is an incredible exercise for your core, and then also isolating some arm and leg movements. Exercise two, the dead bug. Exercise three of rehab for sting volleyball players with low back pain is going to be some variation of either a cable hold or a cable rotation. With volleyball, obviously there's a lot of rotation that needs to happen. So we've got to strengthen some of the muscles in our core and our back that help to rotate our trunk. Uh, this is a great way that we can do this uh, with some sort of like a static cable hold. So we're going to use a resistance band instead of this big machine because you can get this and you don't have to buy a big machine. And you can wrap it around a doorknob or you can loop it around something that's going to be an anchor for you here. Okay, so Zach's going to get some tension 
And what he's gonna do, this is a half kneeling position, so put a pillow underneath your knee. And with straight arms, Zach is going to hold this for time and fight the urge of the resistance band wanting to pull him back over. He's gonna feel a lot of tension here on this right side of his obliques and also on the left side here. Again, like we've talked about, we really wanna be conscious of where our rib cage position is so we don't wanna over arch. We wanna make sure that we're engaging all of the muscles in our core to keep this down here. So this would be a static cable hold. And then from there, we can go into more of a rotational component. So Zach can go past over the top of his knee. Uh, he can pull here. And again, making sure that we're blocking down movement in our lower, our lower body and we're isolating just through our core here and through our, our upper body here. So this would be a static cable hold or a cable rotation. Exercise four of low back pain in volleyball players for rehab is going to be a really challenging one. This is a plank progression uh, that is going to allow us to isolate our swinging shoulder, um, activate a lot of the muscles in the front of our core here as we try to stabilize some low back position. We can even make it way more advanced and go into some rotational stuff, but we'll keep it kind of basic for today. So Zach is going to bring this knee slightly out. I want you to make sure it's not up to 90 degrees. We're not way up here, but it's more of like a 45 degree angle, okay? What he's gonna do up here uh, is we're going to really try to focus on driving his elbows into the ground and push the earth away, okay? Nice and tall. We're gonna be engaging and breathing into our low back here. Uh, and focusing on continuing to push out here. These two points here, as we're driving this knee into the ground and we're really driving this right elbow in, we're isolating this shoulder and the front sling across uh, into, into your uh, like obliques and front core muscles. So this is something called a four and a half month pro, uh, plank position. What we can do from here, we'll challenge and see what Zach can do. Let's see if he can bring this hip up a little bit higher. Good. And we would hold this top position. You can see he gets pretty shaky. He's going to flip around and show it on the other side. <clears throat> so again, this knee's going to kind of come up. Bring that down just a little. Good. Focus here, pushing the earth away nice and hard. Don't lose this head position here so we don't want to look up at what's going on. Keep that chin nice and tucked, nice and neutral spine, breathing into our belly, making sure that we're trying to push our belly button into the floor and all that kind of stuff. And again, then we can hover this arm, really isolate this left shoulder while he's focusing on pushing, pushing, pushing really hard through here, building some strength through our shoulder blade, building some strength through our core. So this would be the last progression of a volleyball player dealing with low back pain. Uh, so go ahead and give that a try.